Welcome to Brain Booster. Ever wondered about the early life of the audacious Amelia Earhart, the lady who dared the skies? Born in Atchison, Kansas on July 24, 1897, Amelia was the first-born child of Arthur and Amy Otis Earhart. Her parents, both educators, instilled in her the importance of curiosity and exploration. Amelia's mother, in particular, was a strong advocate for her daughter's unconventional interests, often challenging societal norms. As a child, Amelia, or Mealy as she was fondly called, was quite the thrill seeker. She even built her own roller coaster. This zest for adventure seamlessly transitioned into her love for aviation. At the tender age of 16, Amelia embarked on her first flying lesson, a pivotal moment that set the course for her future. Her natural affinity for flying was evident, and she swiftly honed her skills as an aviator. Even as a young girl, Amelia Earhart showed a spark of the daring and courage that would define her life. Now imagine the year 1928. A woman, Amelia Earhart, is about to accomplish something astonishing. In the early morning hours of June 17, the world watched in anticipation as Amelia Earhart embarked on her daring solo flight across the Atlantic Ocean. A woman alone in the cockpit, she was set to challenge the very notion of what was possible. This was an endeavor that had claimed many lives before, including those of brave men. But Amelia was undeterred. She was determined to push the boundaries of aviation and inspire women around the world. Her aircraft, a Red Fokker F-7 named Friendship, took off from Trapassi Harbor, Newfoundland. With a compass, a few maps, and her unyielding spirit, Amelia ventured into the vast expanse of the Atlantic. The flight was fraught with challenges, turbulent weather, mechanical issues, and the sheer exhaustion of a non-stop flight. But Amelia, with her unwavering focus and determination, pressed on. After 20 hours and 40 minutes of relentless flying, she achieved the unthinkable. Amelia Earhart landed her plane in Burryport, Wales, making her the first woman to fly solo across the Atlantic Ocean. This was a historic achievement, not just for women, but for all of humanity. It showed the world that with courage and determination, there are no limits to what one can achieve. Following her extraordinary journey, Amelia penned a book, 20 Harniers 40 Minutes, offering a riveting account of her solo flight. This book served not just as a memoir of her landmark flight, but also as an inspiration to generations of aviators and dreamers who dared to defy the odds. With this achievement, Amelia Earhart firmly etched her name in the annals of aviation history. The echoes of her propeller cutting through the winds of change continue to inspire us even today. Amelia Earhart, the woman, the aviator, the legend, soared not just across the Atlantic, but into the hearts of millions around the world. Did you know Amelia Earhart was the first woman to receive the Distinguished Flying Cross? The Distinguished Flying Cross, you see, is a medal of high honor, awarded by none other than the President of the United States. It's given to those in the U.S. Armed Forces who have shown exceptional heroism or extraordinary achievement in aerial combat. It's the highest award a military member can receive for heroism while flying. Now, picture Amelia, the first woman soaring solo across the Atlantic Ocean. This wasn't just an impressive feat, it was a historic achievement that placed Amelia Earhart as a household name and a role model for aspiring aviators everywhere. Recognizing her bravery and pioneering spirit, she was awarded the Distinguished Flying Cross, becoming the first woman to receive this prestigious honor. She was a woman of many firsts, and this was one of her most remarkable achievements. The year 1937 brought with it a mystery that continues to intrigue us to this day. Amelia Earhart, already a celebrated aviator, was about to embark on her most daring adventure yet. She planned to become the first person to fly around the world following the equator's path. With a well-equipped Lockheed Electra aircraft and her navigator, Fred Noonan, Amelia set off on this groundbreaking journey. They began from Miami, Florida, managing to cover over 22,000 miles, nearly two-thirds of their route. However, as they attempted to cross the Pacific Ocean, heading towards Howland Island, a tiny speck of land amidst the vast ocean, something went wrong. On July 2nd, Earhart and Noonan sent out their last known radio transmission. After that, silence. They never arrived at Howland Island and were never seen or heard from again. The disappearance of Amelia Earhart sparked one of the most extensive sea and air searches in history, led by the United States Navy and Coast Guard. But despite the efforts, no trace of Earhart, Noonan, or their aircraft was ever found. This led to a multitude of theories, each more captivating than the last. 
Some suggest they crashed into the Pacific Ocean, while others speculate they ended up marooned on an uninhabited island. Some even believe they were captured by the Japanese and held as prisoners of war. Amelia Earhart's disappearance remains one of the greatest unsolved mysteries of the 20th century. Despite her disappearance, Amelia Earhart's legacy continues to soar. Her pioneering spirit remains etched in the annals of aviation history and beyond. Each year on July 24th, the United States pays tribute to her remarkable achievements with Amelia Earhart Day. Schools, aviation organizations, and communities across the nation commemorate her life and accomplishments with special events and activities, keeping her memory alive. Earhart was more than just a remarkable aviator. She was a woman of many firsts. Notably, she was the first woman to receive a pilot's license from the prestigious National Aeronautic Association, shattering yet another glass ceiling in a male-dominated field. This achievement was not just a personal triumph, but a victory for women everywhere, demonstrating that the sky truly was the limit. But Amelia's pioneering spirit wasn't confined to the skies. She also made a mark in the world of fashion, launching her own clothing line. Her practical and comfortable designs reflected her adventurous spirit and challenged traditional expectations of women's attire. Amelia Earhart's life story continues to inspire countless individuals, encouraging them to reach for the stars, to challenge the status quo, and to never let obstacles stand in the way of their dreams. Amelia Earhart, a beacon of courage and a symbol of limitless possibilities, continues to inspire us. She may be gone, but she will never be forgotten. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.